When I was looking at my vehicle, I was thinking I'm going to drive this around everywhere. And I'm going to go exploring to all new places, take this around and just find new things in life to understand and enjoy. I went through a few articles where I realized that it's not just about the suspension, it's also about how we sit. And so, for all you car riders out there and all you bike riders, I just want to tell you a little bit about your sitting position. The first thing that you learn in driving school and the first thing to keep in mind is always your hand positioning on the steering wheel and also the distance between the steering wheel and your chest. Now when you take the steering wheel, your hands have to be positioned at the 10 and 2 position respectively. Always make sure that your hands are free and your wrists are fine so that when you are turning, your wrists are not rigid. Make sure that your hand is positioned as the indication is shown on the steering wheel at these places and also make sure that you have about 1 to 1.5 feet between the steering wheel and the chest. So that even if something was to happen, nothing would physically be damaged on yourself. The next thing to keep in mind about your sitting posture is how you are placed with respect to the mirrors that are available in the car. And also, the distance between your leg and the seat. Make sure that before the car starts, your seat is positioned such that it has the perfect distance to view both the side mirrors, the rear view mirror and also the oncoming road and the traffic. The last and simplest tip we can give you on this show today is how you actually sit on the seat here. Now, if you look at the seat, how you want to sit is perfectly erect, which is in line and parallel to the seat. With, and make sure that your bottom is perfectly placed back against the seat. And if you can, give a slight 10 degree incline to the seat as well, which would assure that you have perfect resting stance and also it would give a lot of ease to your movement in the car. So it's not always about the car. You can't blame the car for everything. And the few things we can actually do to help make it better were just told to you. So here we are once again at the end of the show where we can give you more tips if you keep staying tuned to our show.